Howdy everyone, Boone here from Premium Beat. Today I have a fun tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how in four easy steps we can create karaoke style graphics inside of Adobe After Effects. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm inside of Adobe After Effects here and I have my music track from premiumbeat.com and I only have about 14 seconds here. We're just doing a little sample here. We don't want to do the entire song because that would take a long time. So for the first step, we want to create our text. To do that, I need to look at my music track and listen to the lyrics. So I'm going to hit L twice to pull up the waveform and then let's have a listen. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Okay, so we have two different lines of text that I think this first section here, this first verse, is going to require its own text, and then we're going to switch to a second line of text. So let's focus on the first area here. And what I want to do is I want to add markers that will work as kind of a visual reference here. So I'm going to go back here. It looks like it starts here. So I'm going to add a marker by clicking this button here. This is the beginning of it. Let me just listen to it again to make sure. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? And it ends about right here. Okay, so now I know that the text is going to start here and end here. So with our karaoke graphics, you know, it's going to be this color wipe. So the color wipe is going to start here and then it's going to be done here. So what we want to do now is create text. So I'm going to go here, grab the text tool, click in here. And then I'm going to type out that first line, which is bags are packed. Are you ready to go? Now I'm going to go to the align panel, center this up. Okay, so we have our text. It's typed in and we have the visual reference put out here. So we know where we want to animate it. Now for step two, I want to prep this for animation. So if I open up my text layer here, you'll notice an animate button. So if I click on this, I'm going to go to fill color and select RGB. So we want to add a color here. Now it's set to red. I can just click on this and change it to whatever I want. Let's say we want it some kind of teal so that we can really see it. Teal or cyan, I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to grab the selection tool. So now animators come with range selectors. Now this is what is going to control our animation. So right now it's full on out. So the range selectors have three different properties, start, end, and offset. So if I move this end, it's already set at 100%. So if I move it back, we're going to see that now we can see how we're going to animate this. This controls how much of the range of this uh, particular line of text is, um, is being covered by the color. So what we need to do is we need to animate the end property. I'm going to drag my playhead right over marker number two. I'm going to click the stopwatch, add the end keyframe, go back to number one, bring this down to zero. Now I'm going to drag my playhead or my work area here. Now let's take a look. Make sure this isn't full screen or anything. There we go. Bags are packed. Are you ready to go? Okay, it's looking good, but we can tighten it up at the end here. So we have these two keyframes. Now let's zoom in a little bit just so we can see okay are you ready to go? okay right here she says ready I'm gonna open up this waveform again ready to go. so ready starts right here so one thing that I can do if I select the text actually I'll open this back up if you select the animator or the range selector if you look right over here you can see where the end is and I can actually grab it. You see the symbol changes on my cursor there. I can actually grab this. And right there is where she says, ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. So she says ready very fast. So I'm gonna move this over here. You can see it added a keyframe. Ready to go. And this is kind of a fast thing in here. Let's see. Go. That looks good. Let's take a look. Bags are packed. Are you ready to go? Okay, so there we go. Now what I can do is I'm going to open up this advanced submenu here. If you look just beneath the three properties here, 
we have an advanced submenu. And there are just a plethora of other options here. But the main thing I'm gonna focus on are the based on right here. So right now it's focused on characters. If I open this up, you can see we have a couple of different options. We have characters excluding spaces, words, and lines. So let's take a look at words. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? And you know what? I kinda like that a little bit more. Let me take a let me kind of zoom in here. Might need to move this. Ready to go. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom back out, close this off, and now what I want to do is I want to split this. I'm going to hit Command Shift D. This is going to split this clip right here. Now I'm going to go over and check for my second verse. We'll quick, quickly do this one. I'm going to add a marker because this is right at the beginning of when she starts singing. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Okay, ends about right here. Now I'm going to push, uh, kind of select this layer, hit the U key. We can see the keyframes down here for this layer. I'm going to move them down here. Delete these and move my range selector or the work area here. Now let's look. Actually, we need to change the text. This time tomorrow, we'll be on the road. This time tomorrow, we'll be on the road. Okay, you can see. It's not perfect, so we're gonna. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. Okay, so right when she says B, be on. it kind of speeds up. So I'm just gonna add a quick keyframe here. Um. Okay, and then it goes. Tomorrow we'll okay. Be on. Be on. Okay, so now I just need to bring it up. Be on the. Okay, perfect. Now, let's take a look at the whole thing. Bags are packed, are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. And there you have it, just like that. We've created these graphics. Now I can simply duplicate these and kind of copy paste these markers and we could quickly knock out a song real quick and we're ready to party. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.